I'd like to start today's video by walking through a really powerful functionality that's built into every implementation of Adobe Analytics that you may not even be aware of. And that function is called Do Plugins. I've actually already pulled up the knowledge base article that explains what exactly the Do Plugins function is and what it does. Simply, the Do Plugins function is a function that automatically is called after, as a part of actually, every single call, every single server call, every single hit, every single page view, custom link, exit link, download link, no matter how it's generated, uh, as long as it's generated by, launched by Adobe, then it's going to call do plugins. However, this is where things get interesting. Do plugins is not automatically um, included within your code. So you actually will need in launch by Adobe, you will need to add a little bit of code into Adobe launch in order to fire that within the Adobe analytics extension. So this session or this video will help explain uh, how to do that. So the first place to go to is by starting with these code examples. As you can see, very simply, we've got some basic few lines of, of JavaScript to be added. And you can rename it if you want to. I don't necessarily re recommend that unless you've renamed your S object and uh, some examples of how to actually use it, some plugins, etc. Now the place that we're going to be deploying this is on the Adobe Analytics Insider Tour website. You can see here that when I load up the page that we're call making a call to Adobe Analytics and we're firing prop 59 set to PV because it's a page view. However, we're also automatically capturing any clicks to external pages using automatic exit link tracking. For example, if I click here, which takes me to a different domain, then that opens a new tab and does pro properly make a call, which is an exit link and captures the URL that's being exited to. However, Prop 59 is not being updated because it still thinks it's a page view. So we need to add some additional context and some additional code to um, uh, the Adobe Analytics extension in order to proactively identify that this was actually an exit, not a page view. Let's walk through how to do that. As with all changes that you make in Adobe and launch, I actually like to start by creating a new library. So we'll call this the do plugins edition library. We're going to send it to the dev environment, see if there's any changes. looks like there is a minor change to our privacy um, extension. So I'll save and build that for development. Now that that's built, I can choose that as my working library. So all changes that I make to launch will automatically be imported into that dev environment library. So the first place that we want to go is into the Adobe Analytics extension. So we can click configure and there's one very, very important checkbox to, to select, which is make tracker globally accessible. If you click on the um, info button next to it, it's simply informing us that it will make the S object available as window.s. I already have that checked within my implementation. If you don't, make sure that you do, as we're going to be referencing that S object outside of the built-in rules um, and with our own custom JavaScript. So the place that we'll actually be doing that is within this accordion panel here within the extension called configure tracker using custom code. When I pop open that editor, you can see it's currently blank. Now this is a very useful locate uh, place to, to add some additional code. For example, if I wanted to automatically remove, uh, cancel the call to Adobe Analytics, if for example, my page name has local host in it, which means it's on my, my own personal uh, testing, uh, environment, then I can actually set s.abort equals true and automatically that'll be canceled. However, this doesn't fire with every single server call. It only fires on page view. It doesn't fire with exit links and download links, custom links, etc. So we need to leverage do plugins in order to expand upon that. So that's one good use case for the um, custom code. However, it doesn't resolve our Prop 59 issue. 
So what we'll do is we'll start basically with this code that we see here listed in the knowledge base article. And I've actually already pre-built that here. So I can take that code and I've added one additional item. I've added a satellite logger log that says do plugins has been called. Now when I click save and then save to library and build, When I refresh the page, I can then take a look and see that we now have do plugins called, which was the satellite log or log information that I sent within do plugins. Now there's a couple things to notice here. First of all, it is called um, in my console. Also, it's called on every single click that I make within um, my uh, website. So that's how often do plugins is called. So you do want to limit the extent and the, the size of the JavaScript that you include there. So you want to make sure it's optimized as often as possible. However, it's extremely valuable in that it ensures that when I click on this button, do plugins is going to be called. And however, that hasn't fully resolved our issue because we haven't updated prop 59 to show that it was an exit link. So the way that we do that is simply by taking some basic code. First of all, we can leverage um, a what we call a, an Adobe Analytics implementation plugin. I've got a bunch of different useful plugins that are available. Um, almost all of them are listed within the uh, knowledge base as well. So you can see our installed plugins, for example, and you can leverage those. In fact, here is the one that I'm using is our append list plugin. So I'm going to drop those append list functions, each of those into my area here outside of do plugins. Now, the other thing I can do is take advantage of those. So I can first take a look at, well, first of all, is the current page a link? And that says if it's if it's not undefined, which means that the, the current call to Adobe Analytics is a link, then we're going to set Prop 59 to the type of link that it is. Otherwise, if it's not a link, then continue to set Prop 59 to PV or for page view. The other piece that we'll want to do is leverage the append list code as well. So that regardless of what tag is actually firing, Prop 59 will always be included in that link. And so that combination of code within do plugins allows for us to save it and refresh that library. Now that our library is updated, we can head back on over into our page, give the page a hard refresh, and we'll see a couple of different things. First of all, do plugins is still called. And when I click, you'll see that do plugins is called again. However, an additional tag did not fire. We still have just the one. But if I click on that click here button, now we're going to see there's a second tag fired and voila, Prop 59 has been updated from PV to just simply E for exit link. I hope you found this walkthrough valuable of how to use do plugins within Adobe Launch.